But one of the things that my father taught me beside physics, <laughs> whether it's correct or not, was a disrespect for respectable, for certain kinds of things. For example, he used to sit me again on his knee and he'd open a picture and there was a picture of the Pope with everybody bowing in front of him. And he'd say, now look at these humans, he'd say. Here's one human standing here and all these others are bowing. Now what is the difference? This one is the Pope and those are the ordinary people. He hated the Pope anyway. And he'd say, the difference is epaulets. Of course, not in the case of the Pope. Maybe it was a general. It was always the uniform, the, the position, that this man has the same human problems. He eats dinner like anybody else goes to the bathroom, he, he has the same kind of problems as everybody. He's a human being. Why are they all bowing to him? Only because of his name and his position, because of his uniform, not because of something he especially did. Was it worth the Nobel Prize? Was it worth a Nobel Prize? I said, <laughs> I don't know anything about the Nobel Prize. I don't understand what it's all about or what's worth what. And if the, the people in the Swedish Academy decide that X, Y, or Z wins the Nobel Prize, then so be it. I don't like honors. I appreciate it for the work that I did and for people who appreciate it. And I notice that other physicists use my work. I don't need anything else. I don't think there's any sense to anything else. I don't see that it makes any point that someone in the Swedish Academy decides that this work is noble enough to receive a prize. I've already got the prize. The prize is the pleasure of finding the thing out, the kick in the discovery, the observation other people use it. Those are the real things. The honors are unreal to me. I don't believe in honors. It bothers me. Honors bothers me. Honors as epaulets. Honors as uniforms. My papa brought me up this way. I can't stand it. It hurts me. Today, by the film industry, excuse me. I don't know if I should present this award on behalf of all the cowboys shot in all the John Ford Westerns over the years. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> did, you, did you expect the uh, kind of outrage that you got from people, uh, I believe, uh, well, that very night, Raquel Welch made a joke against you, uh, saying that well, I hope the next person doesn't have a cause. Um, who's the Indian, uh, who's the uh, Western star uh, who followed later? Um, Steve McQueen. Uh, Steve, uh, Clint Eastwood, yes, of course. I, I very seldom make mistakes. Um, he uh, did his version of a joke, and then John Wayne looked like he was about ready to get a posse together. He looked, looked so silly. Uh, does that, did that surprise you, that they would be angered, that you desecrated their cathedral? I, I wasn't surprised, no. Uh, there were a number of people that, that felt that Sashin had had uh, not been welcomed and not been treated properly, and and people that were sympathetic to what she was trying to say, and uh, I received an awful lot of mail in uh, support of that. Uh, the booing made me sore. Well, actually, I think the people were boo booing at me. Uh, they were booing because they thought, well. This, is, this moment is sacrosanct, and you're ruining our fantasy with the intrusion of a little reality. And I suppose it was uh, perhaps unkind of me and, uh, to do that, but uh, there was a larger issue, and it's an issue that nobody in the motion picture industry has ever addressed themselves to, unless forced to.
Um, I want to thank my team uh, who works with me every day. Um, the work, and you don't let those people sidetrack you. Someday when you get where you're going, you'll look around and you will know that it was you and the people who love you who put you there. Well, had I not understood love of a tremendous magnitude, and for that I thank my family, my mother, Blythe Tanner, who I <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. It came true. Oh. Thank you so much, Steve.